YouTube, welcome back, RoadWarriorsTC.com. Um, for those that are new to this channel, I'm Lenny Sly. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a video, and I'm um, using somebody uh, special in the video. I'm gonna be using my wife. This is uh, this is Jenna, this is my wife, so introduction to uh, my YouTube channel and my YouTube fans. We're gonna teach her today on how to defend against like a hook punch, haymaker type punch, that's gonna turn into a judo, ju judo, jujitsu type throw. Um, it could be, I guess you can say relatively, it's a koshinage uh, from an Aikido standpoint. Um, I don't know exactly what the name of this um, actual hip throw is, but I've seen it in jujitsu. I've seen it in judo. It's very common, um, but I wanted to use her because um, my wife is a very non-confrontational person. She's, she's really not into the whole violence thing and whatnot. I think this would be a good thing for her to learn, just in case if you know, somebody ever tries to hit her or tries to slap her. You know, this can be done off of a shove as well. Um, with the shove, you'd have to incorporate some hand deflection, so I'd have to show her how to do that. So this is gonna be very basic, uh, fundamental aspects of this technique. And um, just let's just keep something in mind. This is a woman's self-defense thing. And you're not really gonna come across people on the street that have you know boxing, MMA skills, stuff like that. So it's, it's not so much that she needs to get, you know, be worried about actually being struck by a UFC fighter. This is more type of like a haymaker type of, type, type of punch. And yes, this is uh, choreographed so she could actually learn how to actually do the movement. Um, then obviously within time, you know, things will come very naturally for her to where she'd be able to incorporate this and pull this off without it being choreographed. So with that being said, I'm gonna have Rod work with us today on this. So, and then I'm also probably gonna bring my nephew into this. Nick happens to be about 30 pounds heavier than Rod, so we're gonna, we're basically gonna go through the technique with, with Rod first, get the fundamentals of it down, and then at that point, once we see that she's comfortable, which shouldn't take long, she's a pretty quick learner, then I'm gonna bring Nick into it, and then uh, we're gonna see how she does against somebody that's, that's heavier. So with that being said, so what I want you to do with this is as he throws a punch, okay? So he's gonna, he's gonna come and throw this hook punch. What you need to be able to do is you need to be able to stop the punch, okay? So he goes and throws the punch. You can't do this, because this punch is gonna keep coming, and you're gonna get hit. Let's do it from the other side real quick. So he throws the punch, if you try to block this here, this is going to keep coming. You know, close fist, it's going to keep coming, you're going to get hit. So you have to be able to stop this there. So this can't be loose. If this is loose, this keeps coming and it hits you in the face. So you need to be able to stop that movement and with your other hand, grab around his head and then turn your hips as you grab the arm and head and pull this into your center. So just roll. So from here, you're just going to pull him down to where he rolls, okay? but I want you to throw him, I don't want you to let him roll. So when he throws the punch, I want you to be able to block this and grab at the same time. Not block, grab, because then he has a free hand, he's punching you in the ribs the second you do that, or he blocks and fires off with that other hand straight to the face. So you want to be able to stop that before that happens, so you want to be able to come right in here and throw. And then I'm going to show you a real simple arm pin that you apply right above the tricep using this knuckle as you apply this right into that, okay? And then I'm also gonna show you if he decides to roll over, because you don't have him in a good spot where you feel like it's this, he rolls over, I'm gonna show you how you can still apply that, okay? So let's walk through the movement. So go ahead, you're up. So once he goes through the punch, all one moment, all one movement. So block, get to the head, toss him, toss him, good. Okay, let's try that again. That was pretty easy. She picked that up pretty quick. So, sorry. Oh. Ready? Block, grab. Good. One more, a little faster. Do it from the, do it from the other side. Same arm, but just from there. A little faster. So get it all on motion, Jenna. Okay. All on motion. <laughs> Not bad, that was good. No, don't apologize, that's good. That's good. Again? Again? Good. Really good. Okay, now once you get in this position here, it's important that you have his hand in, the, in that position. Okay? If his hand is turned over too much, you're going to get this and he's going to bend his arm. So you want to be able to have his hand so the 
so the back of his wrist is going to be on your thigh. So when you throw him, you're holding on to that punching arm, right? So once you throw him, just bend your knees slightly, and then with this knuckle, go right above the elbow on the tricep. And don't squat as you do this, because, I mean, I can still make this work this way, okay? But for you, just apply this to where you're cutting the angle of this right there, okay? But I'm keeping this hand stationary as I apply that, okay? So let's try the pin real quick. So you're going to grab his hand there, put your knuckle right there, and push right down this way. Don't squat though. Good. Again, use your fingers. Make sure you hold on to them. And you're using this knuckle, this knuckle, right there. Okay, now hold on to them. Now, right through this angle, right there, push. Good. Don't fake it. Is it working? You sure? See, if you push that way, it's going to change. This has to go this way. Good. Okay. Let's try to throw again. Okay, this time be a little bit more forceful. Okay, I know that you're not an angry person. You're a sweetheart. Okay, but this asshole is trying to steal your bag of Kit Kats. Fuck him up. God, that's all that you do to somebody? I mean, okay, he's stealing Sam's Kit Kats. Now what? Throw him harder. Okay. Okay, so this is what I mean by that. So you got to be a little bit more aggressive, right? So when he, when he goes and punches, you can't be all nice and loose and stuff. I mean, it's that idea you're learning, but you want to be able to get to the point of here, throw, and then get that pin right away. So be forceful with your technique. Good. Now get the pin. Get the pin. Remember, shoot right through. Good. Very good. Very good. One more. Nice. Pin. Go right to the pin. Okay. Do one more like that without thinking about it. Go right through it. Go right to the pin and pin him out. Good. Good. Okay. Now from here, what I want to show you next is that if, you, if you're over him too much and he rolls because he's feeling that this is the direction that he needs to go. If I had him here, I could shoot right through his arm this way and apply, and I keep him flat on his back. But naturally, someone's going to try to get up out of that right away, so they're probably going to naturally roll this way, because he can't roll back this way. So if he rolls that way, you take a step, and you still apply this right there. Now he's, he's face down at that point, so now you still apply this right in that position. Okay, and if you had, you can kneel on his back, but this is the idea. You can actually leave his hand braced up against your leg and use both hands and just dislocate his elbow. So let's try that. Did you step with your right foot? Yeah, I'll walk you through it. No, no, go back to the throw, do the whole throw over again. Take him out, boom. Okay, now if he starts to roll, you adjust. Keep going, Rod, keep going. Now right from there, now you just push right through there. Good, good. One more time like that. Switch your feet, good. Good, now as he rolls, roll rod, go ahead, follow, follow, follow. Good, now apply. You gotta apply when he starts to move, otherwise he's gonna get up. Oh, I see. As he's rolling, you want to basically follow his movement and control him the whole time. So last one. And then I'm going to have you throw Nick. Good. Good apply. Good, good, good. Nice. Okay, thank you, Rod. Nick, come on in. Okay, you guys already know Nick. I introduced him back in a couple other videos. So now you're going to do the same thing, okay? So remember, he's 30 pounds heavier. So you're using his leverage and his energy to be able to do the technique. So this is, I mean, I understand he's family, I don't care. Throw him. So throw him forcefully, okay? okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Good. Okay, now you can apply, go ahead, apply. Good, one more. Throw him harder, you gotta throw him harder. See. So 
even though it's leverage and, and it's energy being used against him, you still got to toss him. Because if he if he takes that stance, even if it's not taking a step and he throws a, throws a wild hook punch or a haymaker at you, he's still going to have stability. If he takes that step and tries to reach because you're too far away and he's trying to do that, you want to use that to your advantage. So you got to move in quickly and take him out. Okay? Good, good. Now pin, 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 pin. Nice. One more time. Harder. Okay. This will be the last one. Boom. Good. Pin. Good. Fantastic. Great job. How did that feel? Good. I mean, I feel like I hesitate a little bit when I'm. Well, it's just something you got to get used to, and you got to find that, yeah. like that sweet spot in the arm. You got that pretty good with Rod. I mean, obviously, you know Nick is a little bit more buff than Rod is, so it's going to be he can resist that a lot easier. But you have to be able to apply it like right away. Okay, so if I use Rod one more time, if I use Rod with this, and Rod throws the punch, and I come in and I take him, throw, and it's he applying this right away. Yeah. You can't wait. If you hesitate, that's when he's likely to turn and try to get up. So if I hesitate, he turns and tries to get up. Then it's going to change into something else. Now you got to go for a knee strike with Rod. You know, we have hair, so we can sit there and start knee striking him or whatever. But you still can get this to where you're applying that. Yeah. So you got to be able to go with the flow of the way how the person reacts. Well, that's not bad for a first video. Do a really good job. So come on. So, so that pretty much concludes this video. Like I said, this is, you know, it's, it's, it's teaching kata type of thing. It's uh, a... <clears throat> This is something that she's never done before, and I decided, hey, you know, let me introduce you into this. You know, we're probably going to be doing a couple more videos with her with some other woman self-defense type tips and, and techniques and whatnot. Um, how did it feel to you when she threw you? Well, she was definitely dragging the head down, which was tipping me over a lot faster. Mm -hmm. It felt like a lot more effortless on hers. And, of course, she's exerting effort. Yeah. But the harder she dragged my head down, it was a lot easier for her. But from, and I could not resist because I was already tipping over. Because she's using because she's using this momentum from the punch to catch that. Yes. Okay. So and here's just a little tip so you guys can like envision this. Think of a slinky. Okay, the toy, the slinky, the way how it goes down the stairs. You know, if you put it down the stairs, you know, it goes over and then the rest of the body follows. Then it goes over, then the rest of the body follows. That's the idea with this type of hip throw with her. She's taking that punch, she's bending them over, and then the leg slingshot over. So that's pretty much about it. If you like the video, hit a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Um, guys, be nice. You know, this is my wife. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be saying some probably some stupid shit, whatever. But let's try to keep it kinda, kinda easy going with that. Um, share the video again, like, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.